What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Noah, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up a recording device in Ableton. So first, we want to uh, we want to uh, create an audio track. So we can do that by pressing Command T or Control T if you're on a PC, uh, or you can right click and co go right down here and hit Insert Audio Track. That works too. And uh, we want to make yeah we want to make sure it's an audio track because we can't really record audio into a MIDI track. So next, we're going to look at the interface. So let's take a look over here. This is a uh, Focusrite Scarlet. Um, this is a six input uh, Scarlet. So, but I mean, if if most people have a Focusrite Scarlet, it's a uh, it's pretty common audio interface. Uh, this will be your mic one input, and this will be your mic two input here. So whether you're using one or two inputs. Uh, you want to make sure that you know you're following the cables and making sure that you know which mic is which. Uh, right here is the phantom power button. So this is if you're using a condenser mic without a preamp, you're gonna need to use this uh, this button here because that this is what's going to bring your microphone from uh, mic level to line level, and line level is where we would record. Because if uh, if I uh, if I was recording this video at mic level, you guys probably wouldn't be able to hear me. It'd be really, 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 really quiet. The signal's really weak, just coming straight from the mic. So you need to amplify that signal with the phantom power button right there. So now that we got that covered, let's jump back to Ableton and open up our preferences. We can open up our preferences by pressing command comma. Okay, so uh, we flip to the audio tab right here. So this is our, uh, we want to select audio input device right here. We're going to jump down and select our uh, interface. So it maybe if this is, mine's a Steinberg UR28M, but if you're using a Focusrite Scarlet, then your uh, it should say fo Focusrite Scarlet, whichever model it is, or or whatever other kind of model of interface you have. That's what you that's what you want to select right there. So uh, next, we're going to go to channel configuration. And make sure that our inputs that we're using are are lit up. Remember we talked about. Uh, keeping track of where your inputs are, like which mics are which. So if you have a multi-input interface and you have mics plugged into three and four as well, you want to make sure that that is turned on because that will give us the uh, option to record those. If they're not turned on, you won't be able to get any signal. Okay, so we got that set up. Next, we're going to take a look at latency. Now, latency for recording, this is this will be for, uh, uh, I guess, for monitoring vocals. For Sometimes vocalists like to hear themselves sing when uh, when they're recording. Um, and latency is really, really hard on your uh, CPU. So uh, let's take, let, I'll show you an example of this. So we have, we have our, uh, our audio track here. I hit the record arm button right here. So this gets the track ready to record. And then I'm going to go over here to the in and auto buttons. These will monitor uh, the, my voice. So check it out. Now you can hear me speaking. But there's like a little delay on it, right? We don't want that delay. If the, if the vocalist wants to hear themselves sing, then we need to lower the sample size to 32 right here or 64. So now you can hear me talking. There's the little to no latency at all. You can hear just like a kind of a separation, but uh, but yeah. So that's something to keep in mind when you're recording. So next, you you might be like, okay, well, Noah, I plugged everything in and I can't, I still am not getting any signal. I got my phantom power on, I got my mic cables plugged in, everything's good to go, but I'm not getting any signal. Well, right here is where you might you might have selected the wrong input. So I got input one selected right here. If I were plugged into input two, you would see these levels right here. You would see them bouncing up and down on channel two. So you want to make sure you're the right channel is selected. Then lastly, we're going to uh, make sure our playhead's in the right position. So because wherever we, uh, you know, if we want to record a certain space in the track, we need to make sure our playhead's in the right spot. Then we can jump up here to the record button and we can start recording. And that is my voice being recorded right there. We play it back. So yeah, that is, I mean, that's essentially it for recording. If you want to have a count in, you can come up here and select a count in and how long you want it. Uh, you can also select different uh, sounds for your count in. And a count in is just basically how much time it gives you before it starts recording. So I can come up here and click this. 
and then it'll start recording just like that so hope that was informative guys and i will um see you guys in the next video peace